That is how humid it is in New York right now. Oh. First of all, I should not be vlogging right now, but this new Terminal A at Newark for United is fire. It is so nice. I don't think it's just United, but it's really nice. It's like European style. Okay, first let's talk about how I thought I was gonna miss this flight, but I'm definitely not. Two, this terminal is sick. If you haven't flown out of United Terminal A yet, um, I don't really know how old it is, but it's brand new. You have to take like a shuttle bus from the air train because it's not like fully built with the pathway, but the terminal is so nice. There's a lot of stuff over here. I don't board for like another 20 minutes though. I thought I was not gonna make it because there's so much going on. First of all, why did I decide to take a train on a Sunday? I haven't eaten anything all morning. Well, no, no, I did. I had a croissant. I had a croissant. I feel like I should eat something. It's like a five and a half hour flight. And uh, I feel like I should have a little something on my stomach, but I don't want to like be too full on a flight, you know? I also don't want to take something on the flight that is going to smell like food. So uh, maybe I'll just get like a granola bar maybe a sparkling water or something like that. What can I find here? Alexa, open the shades. Okay. Alexa, open the shears. Thank you, Win. Alright. Cheers, yes. Got here to Vegas, it's 115 degrees. It's actually not as bad as you think it is. This dry heat is actually really nice. I love dry heat. Um, I could be out in it all day. Didn't break a sweat or anything. They brought me champagne. So I'm just relaxing for the first night in. Um, I may go out, grab some eat, of course. I think, I'm thinking about going to XS nightclub tonight. So that might be in the cards. We'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Other than that, we have like just a week planned of nothing. So I just plan on like just doing the most random things. Okay, so first let me tell you guys about me getting to Vegas today. First of all, I thought I was gonna miss my flight. 
this is the second like domestic flight that I've taken this year that I've thought that I've almost missed my flight. The first time was Miami. This time, stupid me, I never ever come to Vegas um, during the weekdays. I always come on a weekend, but I decided to come during the weekday this time because uh, it's just a little bit slower. Um, I just want to relax a little bit. So I took the train, the New Jersey Transit to Newark Airport, not realizing it was Sunday and the schedules are a little slower. So I was like, okay, so now I might be a little behind. So then once I got to the air train station, the air train was running slow. So then I was like, oh, I'm definitely gonna miss this flight. Then once I got all the way to terminal A, you have to take a shuttle bus from the air train to the actual terminal, which sucks. Or you can walk, but it was pouring rain outside. So I had to take the shuttle. Luckily the shuttle left like instantly. And then lucky enough, Terminal A is brand new. It's super nice. If you haven't been to Newark, Terminal A is lit. It was, took me all of maybe two, three minutes to check my bags. And then I went into TSA for security. Somebody's shoe got stuck through the uh, security grate. So I was like, now I'm really gonna miss this flight because we're about to board in two minutes. Luckily they got the shoe out. My bags were right there. So I just took all my stuff off of the security line and went straight to the gate so I could board. The gate was all the way at the very end, right? So I was like, now I have to rush to get to the very end. I finally make it. I get there with like two minutes to spare before they call my uh, boarding group. I get on the plane. Lo and behold, everybody has to get off the plane because something happened. So then we were delayed for about a good two hours. I was supposed to leave at one and didn't leave until like 347. So tonight we're going to go to XS nightclub at the bottom of our hotel. Tiger's hosting. So we're going to go check it out and see what's going on there. Um, if not, we are going to just check out to see what's going on. We're gonna try to keep it a little light on this Sunday, but we'll see what we get into. We always want more champagne. Little pregame. Nah, so we're gonna go grab a little snack real quick and then we're gonna go to XS nightclub. Tigers performing. We're about to get a little lit, you know, first night. Me and my homie. We got a the perfect hotel. Look at this. Look at this luxury. Look at all this luxury, baby. Look at the Hermes. Look at all this luxury we in. It's about to be lit. Yo, it is so warm. You feel the heat just bouncing off the concrete. That's how hot it is. And it's not like you're sweating, because you know, dry heat just like it's just hot. It's just straight heat. It's not like New York where it's like you're dripping sweat because I'm not sweating, but it's hot. Like, oh my God. Yo, this fear thing is so dope. So dope. It's like the moon back there.
<laughs> We're so not there yet. We're gonna go find food at the Venetian. This is the only late night spot that I know of. I think, right? <laughs> a little TV and snack on some M&M's and then head out. Oh, good morning guys. I had a long night last night, but God, it's bright. We're pulling through. Check out this view. Alexa, open up the shears. It says it's supposed to like rain today, but the sky looks pretty nice. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain anytime soon, at least. I love the mountain view back here. The back of this drop. Look at the Trump Tower looking lonely. So what did we do yesterday? We checked into this hotel. We went to get a little snack. We went to Excess Nightclub. It was the uh, Excess Night Swim. Tiger was there. Uh, the DJs before him were so fire. That was nice. And now we're gonna shower up, get ready, and figure out what we're gonna do with our day. And we out here. Let's go. Let's go find some lunchies somewhere. Guys, it is so hot. Well, first of all, well, I think it's like 10.30 in the morning, maybe 11. It's like 105 degrees already. But the heat feels, if you've never like experienced dry heat, it feels like you're just inside of an oven or like you're inside of a, I don't know, how do you describe it? Yeah, it's windy. It just feels like you're just being baked. But you're not sweating. You're just hot and just exhausted. We're just trying swimming trunks because I forgot mine and we gotta go to a pool or a pool party. Because only I would forget my swim trunks coming to Vegas. For what? Alright, got my swim trunks. Now we're gonna <laughs> shut up, Now we're gonna go grab a drink go to the pool. So we 
decided to come down to the pool. This is a little too many kids for us over here. So we're gonna walk this way and go around to the 21 and up. And one thing about the Wynn and Encore is that they have like uh, European style beaches or beach parties. Or should I say European style pools where it's like topless or whatever like that. So we're gonna go over to that section where there's a bar away from all these kids. So they don't give you glass bottles at the pool. So they just pour your bottle of champagne and a craft over ice. So that's what's happening. So I think I'm on my like fifth drink. No, one bottle of champagne and like one, two, third, three drinks and two, one bottle of champagne, something like that. Who knows? The fattiest, the fattiest of all fattiest, hold on. The fattiest of all fattiest food after the pool party. So good. So yesterday we had a long day. We passed out. We're going to the wind pool today. Cause Phil wanna sit by the pool again and get dark. We were exhausted. We were out all day. We walked in that heat. We were at the pool. We fell asleep mad early. We didn't wake up till like two in the morning. So today we're gonna go sit by the wind pool for a little bit and then I think we're gonna go out and do a lot of stuff today. So hopefully we don't fall asleep. Walking into the wind pool, it's the same as the Encore. You walk in, there's a 21 and up pool in the back. This is like the family pool. So we're gonna find the adult pool. We don't wanna be around all these kids. This is nice though. I mean, they're both just the same in my opinion, if you ask me. Looks like the wind has a little um, outdoor cafe area. Terrace Point, which is really cool. Terrace Point Cafe. It looks nice. All right, so this pool is a little boring. So we are gonna go back to the Encore side. It's beautiful, but it's just a little bit more boring. You know, we need, we need a little bit more splashing in the water, a little bit more young crowd. The wind's a little bit more, you know, mature. So on the agenda tonight, it's definitely dinner. Um, I think we're gonna go to Cathedral. We might stop by Vanderpump Paris, have a cocktail. There's another cocktail bar at Resorts World called Golden Monkey, I think. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna go over by like the Area 15 um, space. Check that out. And then this will wrap up like our last day in Vegas. It feels like it hasn't gone on that long, but alas, here we are. So I'm sorry if I keep like skipping all over the place. It's hard to film in like a lot of the places because the music um, that's playing in the background, and I don't wanna get like copyrighted. I'm also like a little tipsy, so it just makes it really hard. Yo, the sun is eating me up. You probably can't tell, but I've gotten like a shade and a half darker already. But yo, the sun is eating me up. It's like 110. I was sitting by the pool for like, I wanna say like four or five hours, something like that. It's hot, like crazy. We have a long day. I gotta go to the Planet 13. I have to go get drinks at a couple cocktail bars and then to dinner at Cathedral. So we still got that going on. So we're finally up in Adam. We are going to dinner at Aria. So it's a little bit of a walk from our hotel. We're gonna have dinner. We're gonna have a couple cocktails. We're gonna go to Planet 13. Then we're gonna just finish out this last night the way it should be. So we made it to Aria. We are about to go find Cathedral. That's where we're having dinner. We're gonna get some good cocktails. So we'll see you inside.
So we just left dinner. We had dinner at Cathedral de Aria. Such a good dinner, such a good vibe. Service was great, the food was great. Now we are in the Paris Hotel. Um, about to check out Vanderpump Paris. See how that's going. Maybe we just might take a photo, but I might have a drink. So last day in Vegas, we are packing and about to head out. Going to miss this view, most of all. It's very hard to vlog in Vegas because there's a lot of like music in the background. You don't want to get copyrighted. Every like beach club or nightclub or restaurant you're in has like major music that you can't use in your vlogs and stuff. But for the most part, this was just like a relaxing trip anyway. So. I think I covered most of what was going on or what I was doing for you guys. Uh, my flight leaves in about an hour. The airport is literally like right over there. So I'm about to leave in like 10, 15 minutes and then head to the airport, grab something to eat because I have a long flight. Everybody's flights keep getting delayed except for mine. So I am hoping that my flight does not get pushed back. If it does, that's fine. I don't have to work tomorrow until like 4 p.m. So if it gets pushed back late, 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 I'm just gonna see if I can just catch like a super late night flight out and get back like mad early in the morning, like six, seven in the morning. We'll see how that goes. That's usually the time I fly back into New York anyway. Like I said, I wish I got to vlog a little bit more for you guys, but as I said, it's very hard to vlog in Vegas. Especially this weekend, it was so hot. I barely wanted to go out and do anything, but I mostly just stayed on my side of the strip, on the northern side of the strip by the Encore Wind. I stayed there mostly. Um, I hardly walked towards the other end, except for when I had dinner at Aria last night. So that was that. I'm gonna hope that I can get a little bite to eat and use the bathroom before I board. Cause I'm like right on time. We're about to board in like 10 minutes. This is like the third Vegas vlog I think I've done ever. So the fourth one when I come back in a few weeks has to be way better than all these. I think this is probably like my worst one. I'm not really into this vlog because it was just so much going on. It was so hot guys. I wish you guys could feel it. 115 like every day. You didn't want to do anything. Even sitting at the pool was extremely hot. I had a bottle of champagne or rosé by the pool like every single day I was there. Let's see if we can find this gate. Yeah, down this way. And my flight is boarding. I'm starving though. I gotta pick up like a snack or something.